Man, I was born in the 80s, but I grew up in the 90s. It was a time of neon clothing and really, really bad hair. But despite those things, some of my favorite memories were from that decade, so I came up with a list of my favorite things from the 90s that I kind of miss as an adult. Remember those glow-in-the-dark ceiling stickers? Everybody had those stickers. You were not cool unless your ceiling was glowing with stars and planets. Sometimes kids would come over for a sleepover and they'd be like, oh, I'm afraid of the dark. Where's the nightlight? And I'd be like, I don't need no nightlight, motherfucker. I I got a glowing ceiling, bitch! Some of the best video game consoles of all time came out of the 90s. I had everything from the original Nintendo to Nintendo 64, and I still say some of the best games of all time came out of those systems. One of my fondest memories of a kid was playing GoldenEye 007 split-screen multiplayer on my little 19-inch TV. Everyone got about a five inch box. It was very challenging to play on, but incredibly fun. Do you guys remember Gak and Floam? Gak was this weird rubbery stuff that really didn't do anything except make a fart noise when you stuck your fingers into the container. And Floam was this weird foam feeling stuff, but you could mold it into whatever you wanted. Ninja Turtle action figures. I had every single Ninja Turtle action figure, and I'm pretty sure they're still in my mom's attic. I literally had every single one. I had everything from Krang to the pizza thrower. You guys remember the pizza thrower? That tank looking thing that ran on a battery and sounded like a vacuum when you turned it on. You push this little button on the side and poo! A little pizza disc would shoot out. It's so much fun. The Goosebumps book series. Oh man. Say Cheese and Die and Monster Blood were some of the best literature of all time. Snap on wristbands. Everybody had those. Nerf guns. Oh man. Nerf guns were awesome because you could shoot someone and not get in trouble for it because they didn't hurt. Nerf footballs on the other hand are a completely different story because those bitches hurt. I got one in the balls once and let's just say I went down. The next step up from Nerf guns was super soakers. My favorite super soaker was the CPS 2000. That thing was big as a freaking cannon and it was way too much power for one kid. That thing was extremely heavy. It carried a lot of water and shot with a lot of pressure. I'm pretty sure I almost took out the eye of a kid once. What about silly putty? Remember that stuff that came in a little plastic egg and it was just hours of fun? And it was so simple. It was just this little putty stuff but you could do anything with it. You could bounce it, mold it, and copy anything from the new Newspaper. I used to swing it around as fast as I could to see how long it could go before a piece ripped off. Remember Stretch Armstrong? Who didn't have one of these? And don't forget his arch nemesis, Vac Man. No matter how hard I pulled on that bitch, that thing would never break. But I had some friends that would torture those things. Like they would put them in the freezer and then like smash them to pieces and stuff. I had some weird friends. Pogs were a personal favorite of mine growing up. In fact, I was the first one to bring Pogs to my grade school and after a while they got so big and people would actually fight over these things that it actually got banned from my grade school. But screw those little milk disc thingies. I used to play for slammers. I was a big baller on the playground. Portable gaming systems. Tamagotchi and Game Boy. Enough said. Beanie Babies were a huge fad of the 90s. Some of these things were so collectible that they were worth thousands of dollars. Yes, I used to collect them. Yes, I was a weird kid. Troll Dolls! Because who doesn't remember Troll Dolls? Mighty Max! Oh, the world's funnest choking hazard. How did they pack so much fun into such a small space? I used to freaking love Mighty Max. Not only did I have the whole set of each of the individual big plastic things, but I actually had the Mighty Max watch. You'd open it and there'd be a little tiny Mighty Max inside. I don't really know why I liked it so much. It was just fun. The Trash Bag Bunch. Another one of my absolute fondest memories of being a kid was collecting these things. You used to put this little trash bag in water and as it would dissolve, it would reveal whatever action figure you got. I don't think I ever collected them all, but I was pretty damn close. Plasma Globes. There were these glass balls that you would plug into the wall and electricity would shoot out in every direction and whenever your hand would get close, the electricity would go zzz to your hand. It didn't hurt or anything, it was just looked really cool. Micro Machines. Yet another toy that needs no introduction. Everybody had these things. Light bright in this bitch! And so many good TV shows came out of the 90s. The Power Rangers, Transformers, Beast Wars. Reboot. Doug? Rugrats was a thing, but I never really watched it. Bill by the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Saved by the Bell. What up? Xena Warrior Princess? What? I never watched that. And one of my favorite shows of all time, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil. And of course, the 90s would not be complete without those famous catchphrases that everybody said. Psych. So sue me. Did I do that? 
Ooh, Family Matters. That was another really good show. So hopefully I brought back some good memories for you. Remember to click like and subscribe if you like this video. And if you really like this video or just know someone that grew up in the 90s, be sure to share this with them. And other than that, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, what? No, it's every Saturday new videos, not tomorrow. Psych! Yeah. And I'd be like, I don't need no light, light. Light, light, night, light, light. Blah! Light, light. <laughs> Oh, Jurassic Park! Yes, that's another one! <laughs>